youth sports are broken in many ways. The umbrella of the brokenness is that youth sport has become over-specialized, commercialized, and highly exclusive. It's become very expensive, and a lot of kids are being left out in terms of who can play and who cannot. Here's the problem. Because the system of youth sport is set up to be win at all costs and very competitive, when you're paying to play and you're on a travel team, you're actually paying for your child to maybe sit on the bench. And parents don't like it. You know, and a lot of parents have a very unrealistic evaluation of their own child's ability. Nobody wants to have their kid play on the C team or the B team when they want they can play on the A team. If you want to really get a conversation going on your social media, just ask parents what is what should the purpose of youth sport be? Should, not what it is, but what should it be? You know, really at the end of the day, playing sports should be about being physically active, having fun, and developing social and physical and emotional skills. When it becomes all about winning, and winning at all costs, then we sort of start compromising what youth sports should be. The advice I give to sport parents is, if you can, show up, be engaged, but not overly engaged. And we have a thing we call, it's called attentive silence. So I'm in the bleachers, I'm watching, I'm being engaged, but I'm cheering positively when anybody, my child or the other team does something good. I'm not booing, I'm not coaching, I'm not yelling at the ref. I'm appreciating good play on both sides.